Okay, fifth graders, do you realize this week are the last lessons you're going to get from me? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yeah. Well, listen, we're jumping ahead to chapter, since we already did 14, we just finished 13, we did 14 already. Now we're jumping ahead to chapter 15. And um, I'm looking on page 598, 598. And we're talking about, um, as you can see here, numerical patterns, all right? So uh, it says, uh, Lindsay has a sage plant that is 3.5 inches tall. Um, she also has a rosemary plant that's uh, 5.2 inches tall, all right? And both plants grow at 1.5 inches taller each week. So that's convenient, both of them 1.5 inches taller. It says, how tall will the plants be after five weeks? And what is the relationship between the heights um, of the plants? All right. So um, they've done it here for us. So this is the starting height, 3.5 inches and 5.2 inches. And then you're just adding 1.5 each time. So 3.5 plus 1.5. So 3.5 plus 1 is 4.5 plus another 0.5 would be 5. And that's after week 1. And then 5 plus 1.5 is 6.5. And then 6.5 plus 1.5 is 8. And you guys can see how it works. And they do the same thing with the rosemary plant. Um... It says, if the patterns continue, how can you tell that the rosemary plant will always be taller than the sage plant? Um, how can you tell that she'd always be taller? Um, well, let's see here. I mean, th they're both growing at the same rate. Um, so growth. is the same for both plants but one started taller than the other so if the rate stays the same and it does it's 1.5 each week there's one plant that's always going to be taller. That would be the rosemary plant. Okay. So um, let's go down to the guided practice or to the next page for you guys, the guided practice. And it says, um, oh, Anthony says the pattern that the sage plant is always 1.7 inches shorter. No, that, that, that I'm sorry. <laughs> Anthony says that the pattern is that the sage plant is always 1.7 inches shorter than the rosemary plant. Do you agree? And, and yes, explain. Um, let's see here. Do we agree? Explain. Because the rate of change... Um, the rate of growth does not change. It's 1.5 for both plants each week. Number two, um, how does making tables help you identify relationships between terms and patterns? Um, you can line them up. Whoops. I don't know about you, but when you have the graph and you can line up the numbers, it's easy to see patterns. Okay, so it's easy to compare them. Uh, number three, if the plants continue to grow 1.5 inch, inches each week, how tall will each plant be after uh, 10 weeks? You guys can answer that. 
Number four, if the plants continue to grow 1.5 inches each week, how tall will they, will they be after 15 weeks? Again, you guys can answer that. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit. Independent practice, it says here. Um, Tim and Jill each have a piggy bank. Tim starts with $1.25 and puts 50 cents in it each week. Jill starts with 275 and puts 50 cents each week. Complete the table to show how much money each is saved after five weeks. Okay, so I'll do the first couple here for you. So here's Tim, he has a dollar 25 and he's putting in, I think they're each gonna put in 50 cents. Isn't that what it said? Yeah, so what's a dollar 25 plus 50 cents, that's gonna be a dollar and 75. Okay, what's 275 plus 50 cents? That's gonna be 325. And I could do one more, a dollar 75 plus 50 cents would be 225. And then 325 plus 50 is gonna be 375. And you would just continue with this. Uh, complete the table to show how much after five weeks you can complete that what's the relationship that you notice between the amount Tim has saved and the amount Jill has saved each week um, well um, Jill has saved um, let's see here a dollar 50 more each week that remains unchanged okay and then finally number seven down here if Tim and Jill continue saving this way how much will each have saved after 10 weeks explain how you decided well just show me i mean uh, gosh i would just extend this okay that's what i would do i would just extend this and so here's five six seven eight nine ten all right and then just fill that out okay um, problem solving. Let's take a look here. Uh, bur oak and hickory trees are deciduous. That's how you pronounce that word, deciduous. Okay, which means that they lose their leaves seasonally. So if you have a tree outside your house and the leaves fall during the winter time, that's a deciduous tree. And then it says a bur oak is 25 and a half feet tall and grows one and a half feet each year okay one and a half feet each year so 18 inches the hickory oak is 30 feet tall and grows one and a half feet each year also so they're both growing a foot and a half all right complete the chart to show the heights of the two trees for five years you can do that just fill in this chart right here you guys could do that um, if, each tea, if each tree continues to grow a foot and a half each year, how tall will each tree be after 15 years? Well, we did this before, and again, I would just extend it. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, we'd have to go to 15, so that's not enough room. All right, but you get the right idea. You guys could do that. 9, 10. What's the relationship? You can figure that one out. Number 11. Each small square on the chessboard is the same size. The length of the side of a small square is 2 inches. Okay. So let me point something out to you that you um, may not realize. I'm going to draw a little square here. Okay. And each side is two inches. So that means this is two inches. That means this is two inches. 
Because if it's a square, all four sides are equal. Each side is two inches. And it says, what is the area of the chessboard? Explain. Well, what is, how do you figure out area? Area is length times width. Okay, what's the area? Length times width. So you're going to have to figure out the length and figure out the width. How many do you see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each one of those little squares is what? Two inches. I think you guys can figure it out from there. And you can do 12 and 13 um, also and 11. So that's it for this lesson. Um, oh, I think I wanted, there's something I wanted to show you guys. I totally forgot to do that in the beginning. Um, those oak trees they were talking about, they're growing, what, one and a half feet a year. And so these plants here, uh, what are they growing? They're doing an inch and a half each week. Would you know what the fastest growing plant in the world is? Any idea? It's bamboo. And um, bamboo, a type, one of the types or, uh, of bamboo can grow up to, get this, 35 inches a day. Can you imagine that? 35 inches in a day. That's almost 36 inches. That's almost three feet in a day. Three feet. That's crazy. Okay. All right. That's it for this lesson. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow.